Well, another heater has come out of my dad's office, not working. <laughs> my dad's office is hard on heaters somehow. Anyway, there was a um, sort of a power outage, and afterwards this thing wouldn't power on. So I had a look at it, and I found that when you plugged it in, uh, well that little red light didn't come on for one thing, you just got kind of a faint blue glow from the, uh, the LCD backlight. So I thought it was probably the same thing as the last heater I fixed, and it was just bad capacitors. Swapped those out, and that didn't do her. Which got me a little confused, so I started poking around the circuit board, and uh, I checked the voltages at the capacitors, because I figure if they're for power smoothing, well, at least, you know, there's an integrated circuit on the board that probably takes 5 volts. I should probably be getting 5 volts at one of those caps. I think I was getting about 27 at the big one, and then bugger all of the little one, and that didn't make any sense. So I checked the, uh, the little Zener diode next to it, this little bastard, which was marked 5 volt 55C, and uh, on the board it was marked ZD101, and yeah, if you could read my writing, you already know what was wrong with it, it was shorted out. Tested it with the uh, diode check function on my multimeter, and uh, yeah, the multimeter said it was zero both ways, which didn't make any sense. So I popped that out, bought some cheap zeners off of um, eBay. These are just marked, uh, oh yeah, there's the part number. 5 volt zener diode. And uh, yeah, I don't think it's exactly the part I took out. The markings are different. The I assume it's forward voltage that I'm testing with that appears to be slightly different, but the machine doesn't seem to care. That's the good news. Also, spoilers, <laughs> she's back together. And, uh, it works. So, another cheap fix. Another cheap heater. <laughs> Hope this helps somebody with theirs. Um, I did take a couple clips while I had it apart. I wasn't really planning on making a video because I thought it was going to be the same simple thing as the last one. Um, but then it surprised me, so here we are. Anyway, if you've got a Bionair, whatever the hell this is, model BCH, 9214RE, rated for 1500 watts. And as always, I like to leave some breadcrumbs inside for the next guy, because let's face it, the next guy is probably going to be me again. One other thing that tripped me up slightly when I was taking this thing apart, I noticed it rattled. I thought, what the hell is rattling? You know, maybe one of the relays that come apart inside, but that didn't make sense, because the relays don't control the brain, the brain controls the relays. And then I realized there's this little thing down here, which you can't see because the white balance isn't cooperating, but take my word for it, there's a little thing down here. There's an LED emitter and collector, and then in between those there's a little ball bearing and a little plastic cage. And when it's on its back like this, that ball bearing falls out of the way and lets light go from the emitter to the detector, which tells the circuit to shut down. This is because this is a heater, and if it fell over, it might, I don't know, set fire to your carpet or something. There we go. Just like one of those creepy ass dolls that falls asleep if you set it down. I have found a goth dragonfly. Gwen! Gwen! Hot topics that way. There you go.